All right, guys, we are back, and today we are going to take a look at two more Spirit Halloween animatronics that so many people have requested we look at on this channel. Starting with... I told you to stay away! Oh, my God! <laughs> Now, once again, we are back on the Spirit Halloween fandom page here. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. You can learn anything you want to about anything Spirit Halloween on that website. So let's get down to looking at the Convulsing Nurse. It says, Convulsing Nurse was an animatronic sold by Spirit Halloween for the 2013 Halloween season. It resembled a nurse with severed arms and a mask covering her face. Oh, it's a COVID nurse. Chains were connected to the arms and could stick to a wall. Okay. When activated, the body moved back and forth in a convulsing motion while moaning and screaming could be heard. Okay. So it looks like originally she was 150 bucks. She's 5.8 feet tall, hangs on the wall. So it's probably just like the upper torso. And then it looks like these chains stick to the wall behind her. She has no arms. And the rest is probably just an empty dress there hanging. So let's roll down here. And here's some pictures. Let's look at the box. Okay, so here's a picture of the front of the box. Convulsing nurse. Motion sound or foot pad activated. Torso thrashes back and forth. Disturbing sounds with volume control. And what is this? It also says convulsing nurse can be activated by the first aid box for twice the scare. Hmm. Will this undead nurse break free of her chains and devour the living? <laughs> All right, let's look at, uh, here's a side view of the box. It says adhere chains to the wall or ground to complete the nightmarish scene. Okay, so she can either hang on the wall or she can lay on the ground and you just attach the chains wherever. This must be the back of the box. Uh, sets up in minutes. Yeah, nothing new on there. Here's a picture of her in the store. And there's the first aid box. Huh, I'm kind of curious about that first aid box. Ooh, there's a picture of her face. Reminds me of Marilyn Manson. Super creepy. Okay, let's go back over here. And we've looked at all those pictures. Let's go ahead to the video here. Alright, here we go. Convulsing Nurse. Spirit Halloween. She sounds pretty cool. She looks more like she's a victim than um, someone who wants to devour our souls. Oh, uh, they didn't show the box. I'm really curious about that um, first aid box, how that thing works. So let's go down here. Prototype. I wonder if this is one that wasn't actually available. No, I guess it was available because there was a picture of it in the store. So, okay, let's look at um, this one right here a minute. Maybe this will show that first aid box. I'm just going to well, kind of skim through this one until I see it. Because this looks like a setup video. I just want to know if the first aid box actually comes with her. So it shows a step pad. Here's the first aid box, okay. And push the red button on the first aid kit, and the kit will send a signal to activate the convulsing nurse's scary sequence. For okay. more information, visit our website at techietoys.com. Oh, that's kind of cool. On... So it looks like the first aid kit, you hook it up to her, you stick the first aid kit on the wall beside her, and when you push the red button, that activates her. But it comes with the bonus of the first aid kit popping open and scaring the crap out of you as well. So that's kind of cool. That's pretty much what I expected from that. 
So that is the Convulsing Nurse. Now, just for the heck of it, I did take a look on eBay, and there is one available on eBay. Um, I don't see the uh, first aid kit with her, but she's 110 bucks right now on Buy It Now, so you don't even have to bid. Located in California. Looks like it's missing some pieces. No base, no poles, no control box, and no original box. So, anyways, um, I mean, if you are handy with these animatronics, you could buy it and, I don't know, create all that stuff, I guess, except for the box. But, anyways, all right, let's move on to the next one. And this one is called Resurrection Mary. I am already creeped out just by the name of this thing. It says, Resurrection Mary was an animatronic sold by Spirit Halloween for the 2010 Halloween season. It resembled an undead woman. <laughs> that word just cracks me up. Undead is, it doesn't even mean alive, which you would think. Undead means creepier than actually dead. An undead woman with black hair, blank eyes, and in a black dress, hiding behind a tombstone. When activated, it would lunge up. I like that. I love the scare props. It would lunge up, causing the tombstone to knock over, revealing the figure. When in the up position, the head lit up and spun around. Okay, that's, uh, that's pretty creepy. As screaming and music could be heard. I cannot wait to see what this thing does. Sold in 2010, $99.99. That's actually a pretty good price for an animatronic. Of course, it was in 2010. About two and a half feet tall. Let's roll on down here. Here's some pictures. Let's start with the box. All right, there's the box. Let's see. It says head spins 360, spinning head, glowing face, psychotic sounds. There's a picture of the headstone in the up position. And then the headstone down with that creepy, creepy face looking directly at us. I know this thing's going to be scary. There's a picture in the store. There's a picture of her face. I think it said her eyes light up. She's got those white eyes. So this will be uh, interesting. There's another picture of her face and another picture of her face. Ooh, and there's her face lit up. That looks red. That is almost too scary for me. All right, let's close out of that part, roll down here, and find the video. I'm scared. <laughs> All right, here we go. Resurrection Mary, Spirit Halloween 2010. Whew, here we go. All right. I hope it does it again. Okay, so the head goes around one way and then back around. Aw, oh, man. See, I got cheated out of the scare. Because as soon as you hit play, she automatically jumps. So it didn't even give you a chance to like get scared and wait for the tombstone to, to flop down. Um, in person, that would probably be a pretty good jump scare prop. But yeah, when I hit the play button, it immediately jumps. So I got cheated out of getting scared by Resurrection Mary just because of the video. It is a pretty cool looking prop though. I like how her head spins around and then goes back around the other way. I kind of wish it went faster, but it's still pretty cool. And I did take a look on uh, eBay for her as well. And I couldn't find her available anywhere. Yeah, there's just there's a couple of movies apparently called Resurrection Mary, but um, the animatronic is not on here at the time. So I'll keep an eye out for her, though. If uh, if she happens to pop up on eBay, I will put a, a post here on YouTube. So, all right, guys, that's it for those two props. Thank you to everybody who has suggested those. Those were both pretty cool. I would have loved to get scared by Resurrection Mary, but the video just cheated me out of it. So someday we'll see her in person. Until that day, Reese Daisies. I told you to stay away.